Well, 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 look what the cat dragged home. Look at this, guys. We've got a level 135 female Tyranidon. She just, like, randomly landed here. I went ahead and checked her out via the spyglass, and then, yeah. Level 135, guys. Very nice. All right, so... Oh, God, this is going to take a fair while, huh? Your food is going down very slowly. Once it gets down to 40, 30 and below, that's when she'll start eating up. That only took two hours to take it down as well, believe it or not, guys. <laughs> Pretty insane. But, guys, welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved. Back for the, what, 13th episode now? Wow, guys, we are absolutely steaming through the series. Guys, thank you so much, though, for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. I truly do appreciate it. Once again, reaching well over 1,000, near to 2,000 likes in the last episode, which is absolutely fantastic, guys. Again, if we can keep it up with 1k, that would be fan-freaking-tastic. So, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to make ourselves the Baryonyx Breedery, but at the same time, I think that one of the other things I'd like to do today is get an Argentavis. That is right, my friends. A long freaking last. A lot of you guys have been saying, do you know what, Python? It might be that time. I think it might be time to get an Argentavis. And do you know what? I, I would have to say I'd agree, because after that, I can get myself an Ankylo, and then we can carry the Ankylo back and forth between here and Herbivore Island in terms of getting metal, right? So that would be great. So, uh, what do we need here? We're going to need ourselves a bunch of narcotics here. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, 51? Oh my gosh. Ah, and a lot of you guys were saying we had an Ascendant Stego Saddle. You're quite right. There it is. 109 armor value. Very nice. That is, what, five and a half times more than the default 20 value. That is very, very nice. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Isn't it? Is it 25 armor? It is. It's 25 armor. Okay, so it's only four times more. All right, well, that's still pretty good, right? You know, more than quadruple the armor value. Don't mind if I do. Uh, all right, so let's get you back over to the base. <laughs> and yeah, the female Tyranodon is just, like, passed out there. <laughs> We're just leaving it to it, basically. Oh, yeah, I just came to the realization as I was getting water. We didn't actually plant these things down. And now, look at this. We've got ourselves three fertilizers. So, we should be able to do this thing. All right, so, uh, we've got uh, potatoes. There we go. Uh, citronal. There we go. Or lemons. And then we've also got ourselves the uh, carrots here. So, uh, deposit the fertilizer. Deposit that fertilizer. Deposit that fertilizer. And now we should be able to irrigate this thing uh, just by placing this thing in here. Uh, remote use, remote use, remote use. Oh, it must have been raining or something because these things are irrigated nonetheless. Like, I haven't even put any water in these two. And, uh, well, there we go. <laughs> I guess in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, we could always go ahead and enable mating here. And then these two should start going for it, right? I mean, they've got the heart symbol. Do they have to be wandering? I'm pretty sure they should be able to mate if they're just sort of near each other. Like that. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The mating has begun. Oh, wow, that timing. Both the Tyranodon and the Fertilized Baryonyx egg literally happen on the same second, guys. Wow. Okay, so Terry, the female Tyranodon, and uh, there we go. All right, look at that. Too cold. I mean, well, of course it is. Oh, yeah. Off we go. All right, let's, so let's uh, check out Terry's stats. 1,600 health, 350 uh, stamina, 213 weight, 667% melee damage. That's pretty cool, I'd say. Yeah, this guy is very, very, uh, very good for breeding, I would say. Nice one. Whoa! Look at these guys! Like, black horses! What level are these guys? Level 60? And then level 55. Oh, man. If they were level 100 plus, I would seriously consider taming them, because I've never actually tamed an Ikus before. Oh, hey there, Eggy Eggy McPleggy! What are you? Are you a trike egg? Uh, Gallimimus egg. Alright, well, let's take it and let's go. <laughs> oh, you'll never know what's happened to you, son. Right, uh, Argentavis. Where's the nearest mountain? I mean, I guess at the Redwood Forest there? Yeah. Or maybe we've got the central mountain way over here. Oh, this area. This has a bunch of explorer notes, if I remember. Yeah. This would be by far the best way to level this guy up. Gigantosaurus. Oh, God. There it is. There it is. Right, mounted. 
Hello, hello. Right, Argentavis should spawn over here. All right, we're going to try and make a, a a quick meal of this because I want to get back and I want to start setting up my breedery because it'll just be a nice idea to get it done. Here we are on top of the world, ladies and gentlemen, and there's another explorer note here. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right, how many levels up this time? Another four? Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe we go for 250 weight again, and then after that, we just go for melee damage. Woo! Get wrecked! We took down a low-level Argentavis and got two levels up out of it. Wow. Okay, well, the, that might be the way to go, my friends. Argentavis Talon. Nice. All right, increase the gamma, and let's get back to it. I'm going to try and make use of this uh, of this very much increased XP. I seem to have two loads of increased XP, which is fantastic. Holy! There's a level 150! What? Oh, my God. You literally can't get better than that. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. There's a level 150 down it. Right, which one was the 150? You're the 150. Okay, 150 needs to stay alive. If he ever dies, my life is not worth living. I'm sorry, but it just wouldn't be. No! I think they killed it! I think they killed the 150! You're kidding, bro! Oh, I'm so sad. That would have been the absolute golden opportunity there, guys. Oh, it's a small-scale war, guys! Come on, level 100. It's got to be worth a few levels up, this. Oh, my God. I feel like I could be taking this level 100 down for, like, three years now. Come on! There you go. Hoo-wee! Okay, right. That's got to be a few levels up. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Wrecked! All right, guys, so we've actually got another cave entrance here. So how do I set a waypoint again? I honestly can't remember. Oh, goodness me. Uh, target inventory, trial manager. Oh, map marker. Okay, P. So this is another uh, cave location. Okay, so I'm pressing P. It's not doing anything. Do I need to get rid of this and then do it? Or get off this and then do it? There we go. All right, so we need to estimate the latitude and longitude. So I'm going to say that's, what, 45 and then longitude is, what, that's 50, so maybe 45 again, actually. Uh-huh. Okay, latitude's maybe 40, actually. Cool. Cave. Boop. There we go. Ah, uh, that's, that's a rough approximation, I'd say. Oh, level 135. That is worth going for. There's level 10 there. Oh, wow, there's like a whole bunch of them. What lovely are you? 15. Ooh, okay, the 135 is definitely the best I've seen so far. There's level 10. Oh, 135, baby. It's got to be that one, hasn't it? It's got to be that one. All right, let's see if we can siphon off the level 10, uh, if at all possible. All right, which one is the 135? I can't tell which one's 135. Oh, this sort of, uh, this darker one. It's quite a cool color, actually. I like it. Huh. All right, uh, maybe I just sweep in. It's got to do a bunch of damage to the uh, level 10. Wait, 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 wait. What level are you? Okay, so the one following me is level 135. It's a little bit disconcerting. Can I maybe just perch myself here for a sec? Oh, I need some stamina, bro. What I really need this guy to do is, like, go ahead and chomp down on an enemy. Because then he can, like, regain a bunch of health. That's the, that's the special property, right? All right, here we go. There we go. All right, just got to reload it and go. Woo! I want to make sure I'm fully reloaded before I go ahead and uh, get out. Okay. Here he comes again. Okay, reload. Oh, oh no! Ah, oh, we're dead! What? I'm not dead! Come here, come here! Terry, 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 Terry! Terry, please! Terry, please, follow! Why are you not following? Okay. Woo! Okay. How the hell did we survive that? Good sweet lord. I'm dead. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. I'm freaking dead. What if I take this off? Nope. Doesn't do it. I, I can't survive. I I'm dead. Oh my god. This is the stupidest death ever. I can't believe that, bro. 
Ah! I just want to get Argentavis and make a freaking breeder with you, jerk! Come on, red loot beam. Please stay there, buddy. Please stay there! Okay, so judging by the fact there's no little circly, squirrely thing in the sky, that means the uh, thing has landed and is ready to be looted. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. I want to get this red loot beam. Come on, I haven't even got my freaking stuff back yet, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. 20. Oh, we got there just in time, didn't we, guys? All right, so what do we get out of that? We got ourselves a Mastercraft Metal Sickle, to Ascendant Terror Bird Saddle, and a Mastercraft Baryonyx Saddle. Hey, nice. Oh, my God. That is an Alpha Rex. What level are you there, buddy? Oh, wait, I don't have a Spyglass. Damn it. Oh, I need my stuff back. Where is it? I want my stuff back. There's usually like a green beam somewhere, isn't there? Come on, second red loot beam of the episode. Still haven't got my stuff back. I can't find my damn body. I'm pretty sure you get half an hour before the thing despawns, though. So I'm hoping that we'll be all right. Uh, but here we go. Another. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But anyways, what do we get? Ooh, Sabretooth and Chalicotherium saddle. Very nice. Ah, look at all these blueprints, man. Whoa. Very cool. Aha! I think I found it. So yeah, this beam isn't actually visible from that far away. Which is a little bit stupid, but here we go. Oh, Terry! Terry, protect yourself! Protect yourself! Protect yourself! Go on, baby! Let's roll! Alright, let's get our stuff back, shall we? What the hell is that? Oh, Demorphodon. Alright, let's get our stuff back here. There we go. All right, guys. So for those of you guys all aware, just south of the snow biome, there tends to be an area which has, A, a bunch of silica pearls, as evident by the white things in the water you might be able to see. Uh, you get a bunch of Argentavis and Allosauruses and uh, Rexes around here as well. So I'm hoping that it won't be too long before we find ourselves a good Argentavis. In the meantime, hello there, Mr. Sarko. What are you? Level 35. Useless. All right, guys. There's a level 115 Argentavis right here. So let's have, uh, you know, you can both, in fact, let's have you both sit down, okay? Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. All right, here we go. Whoop. There we go, guys. Right, now you can both go back and follow. And here we go. Roll on, baby. Oh, goodness me. Okay, uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go with uh, two Tyranodons. Normally, I don't use two dinos to try and tame something. For obvious reasons, it could get a little bit annoying. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Lost focus there, buddy. Yeah! Darn it. I thought my uh, aiming was on point there. Oh, never mind. Oh, she's flying away. That means only one thing. Oh, she's got to be close to being uh, KO'd here. How about no? Alright, here we go. Just gonna try and get over here. Park up and where is she? Oh, you're like way up there. Oh, I thought I hit her. How about now? Oh, come on! Oh! Holy moly! Did you see that shot? Oh my god, I am a god! I am an actual god! Please, oh. You're really going to go down in the snow biome, huh? What an absolute jerk. If you go down in the water, I'm not freaking freeing you. Wait. You're flying over that way? Hang on a minute. I might be able to uh, pop off another shot on you then. Go! Oh my god. Seriously, man. I am literally god. God damn it, Tyranodons! Oh, now he's flying away again. Ah! Oh, I'm so annoyed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fly back this way. Oh, hang on. Oh, for God's sake. Well, one thing I never did is actually rank up. We've got three levels up here. Let's go for health and then two times fortitude. And um, what? We're at level 81? Scuba gear. Ooh, there's the Utyrina saddle as well. Uh, let's go for all of these. Can I, can I get all of them? Yes, I can. And I've still got 230 behind. Let's go for the uh, compound bow. Most of sort, a lot of you guys were saying would be worth it. So why not? I'll tell you what, that Argentavis is really giving me the runaround. She is doing everything in her freaking power to not come to this biome, guys. And it's really starting to annoy me. She just won't come over. It's unbelievable. Oh, my God. I almost would suggest that it's not worth going for, dude. Seriously. It's so freaking annoying. 
I mean, it's only a white loot beam, but it's still got a ring around it, right? Which usually means it's got something decent or just quite a lot of stuff. Holy crap! Level 150, guys! Level 150! All right, we need to be on our game here. All right, so here we go. Grab out the crossbow. Hey, 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 everybody, everybody. Hey, yeah. There we go. As long as you're facing me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Tyrannodons everywhere. Get on the bloody thing. What? Why have you got so much weight? Get rid, you stupid Tyrannodon. Oh, my God. I hate this so much. Right. Okay, come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there's Allosauruses. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Oh, for God's sake. This episode has been so frustrating. I honestly have no idea how long this is actually going to take. Let's be honest, guys. It'll be a long time. Come on, baby. Just got to make sure that Allosaurus doesn't come along. Otherwise, we are in trouble. Also, please don't fly over the ocean like your freaking dude before did. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually a good thing. I don't mind that. Yeah, you do you, baby. Yeah, get that health back. God damn it! I keep missing. Can you, like, stay still? There we go. These Tyrannodons are making it difficult to aim, broski. Okay. Gotta keep it going, baby. Gotta keep it going. Oh, my God. This is gonna be such a pain. But if we manage to get this guy, I'm gonna be the happiest person in the entire world. Okay, 70 damage, and okay, another 70 damage. In fact, if uh, oh, oh! uh oh, I'm in trouble now. Oh, oh, I'm in big trouble. I no longer have any armor, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't do me like this, Ark. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I really don't want to die. That missed? That missed? What? How are we missing? No! Ride, 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 ride. Where are those Allosauruses? Okay, arrow loaded, and go! Come on! Okay, all Allosaurus is dead, and what do you know? He's flying over the bloody ocean! <sighs> Alright guys, the only thing I could try now is maybe trying to coax him back onto the land by, like, essentially chasing him. I, I genuinely don't think I've had this much trouble trying to tame a single creature. No, 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 you do, no, you do not get to go back out into the ocean, sir. No! Yes! Okay, another hit. How about that one? Duh. Okay, well, at least she's now over land, or he's over land. I don't even know what bloody gender you are. You've just been really annoying me, that's all I know. And there we go, guys. I'm out of arrows, right. I, oh my god. I really wanted to get this episode out to you guys today, but this... I have literally never had so much trouble with a single dino! Like, this is insane! Oh, first, it was that level 115... Well, first of all, a level 150 died. Then the level 115 just flew away over the ocean. And now this guy is just... Oh, for God. Come on. Come on. you got to be... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I I ju I just don't think I've ever had so much trouble. Like I literally went back to base, made the trank arrows, came straight back here and thankfully he was still around or she was still around. Okay, so it's a female. I'm just I'm so done. I'm so done. I never ever want to tame an Argentavis ever again. Like oh my Goodness me. Well, guys, we got ourselves a max level Dilophosaur before, but now we have ourselves an actually properly useful dino or creature that we're going to be using quite a lot, I imagine. This gal, if with, you know, uh, taming effectiveness, it should wind up being level 225. But I just, um, 
<laughs> I'm just so done, dudes. I'm so done. All right, guys. Let's see if we can speed this up by uh, getting some prime meat. There we go. That'll do the job. Okay, 23 raw prime meat should hopefully get this uh, Argentavis tamed uh, a bit quicker, right? At least I hope so. Right, where are we at? It was near the tech parasol, right? Uh-huh. Somewhere around here is my Argentavis. And I just don't want it to wake up. If it wakes up and then I fail everything, then... Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, I was already kind of on the edge, but yeah. Anyways, try me. Give me. Well, guys, like I say, I'm pretty sure I've never had this much trouble with any other creature in Ark, but this Scal... Oh my goodness me, she was a pain. I'm going to call you Anna. There you go. Level 224, 2700, have 1300 stamina, nearly 700 weight, and 613% melee damage. Uh, very, very nice. Right, for now, uh, you can basically just like carry all of my uh, additional stuff. Okay, uh, blueprints basically don't weigh anything, so I don't really need to worry too much about it. But uh, anyways, guys, we are going to wind up ending the episode right here. We go ahead and fly back off camera because, yeah, I'm just about out of time for now. So, the comments of the day. Psychic Cobra 024 says, Hey, Python, have you ever tried to go ocean exploring? You can go in one of the ocean caves with a basilosaur. They resist the Nadaria stun. There's also an artifact. Uh, yes, I have actually explored the ocean a little bit, but definitely not in depth, that's for sure. So, yeah, it'll be quite a nice idea to go ahead and uh, get ourselves some ocean gear. I mean, today we did unlock the scuba gear, so that's pretty cool, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Ocean exploring is definitely something we're going to do because it's it's something I haven't really done a great deal of and it'll be great to, honestly. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Apologies for the sort of raginess, but you guys have got to feel for me, man. Like, some of this stuff in this game is so annoying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anna... You were a pain, but I'm so glad I've got you. Honestly, it's worth it. It's always worth getting a max level dino, no matter how frustrating it is to actually get them down. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating goes a long way. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.